Hello guys, it's Nitala Sunny, and today we are going to be doing something a little bit different. Today I'm going to be redesigning the Warrior Cats Fire and Ice book cover. Now, for those who aren't in the Warrior Cats fandom, you might have a few questions. Warrior Cats is a pretty popular book franchise that centers around wild cats doing crazy things, and they also have their own religion as well. And when it comes to the fandom's perception of the book covers, it's usually negative, especially with the newer ones. The older ones seem to be quite well liked, actually. But that doesn't negate the fact that there are still some pretty mediocre covers, and that's why I plan on redrawing one of them. I decided to go with the second book of the first saga, and that is Fire and Ice. But I want to talk about the pre-existing covers before I make my own. I'll also try to avoid spoilers, but the thing with warrior cats is that the cats fight a lot. That's why they're called warriors. And so I think the old cover, which is on the left, is pretty nice because it's very dynamic and it has a great variety of colors. It took me a bit to recognize who was in the middle of the picture, but it makes sense considering that it's literally just the two main characters, Graypaw and Firepaw. And then for the new one, which is the one that I got, I couldn't tell what cat that was for the life of me. Is it Broken Star or is it Tiger Claw? The reason why it was so difficult is because I don't remember either cat being described with a chip ear, and it would make sense for either one of them to be at the cover because both of them played substantial roles in this book, but it turns out to be Tiger Claw. And the main criticism with the new book covers is that it's literally just a close-up of a cat with some weird background, instead of the old covers which, as you can see, have a lot more action going on in them. And I feel the same. But I will say one thing that's nice about the new cover, and that is the lighting and the colors. But that's basically it. So let's move on to my version. I started with circles indicating which characters I wanted and where I wanted to put them. I decided that Tiger Claw would be above the main three cats, Firepaw, Graypaw, and Ravenpaw. I also decided that I wanted Ravenpaw to have a side view as well. Then I inked in the Warriors logo and also sketched out what I wanted the character designs to look like. Firepaw has a paw on his chest with the middle of the paw actually being a heart, which is foreshadowing for a later book. I actually shaded in gray stripe just so I knew what colors each stripe would be, instead of getting confused about it when I actually go to color in. And up above, I tried to make Tiger Claw look menacing, because if you don't know, he's the big bad of the books, which I don't consider a spoiler because you literally get that vibe from him when you first meet him. So, yeah. He also has some scratch marks just to indicate how tough and strong he is, because he is tough and strong. Firepaw, ironically, has a fiery gaze in his eyes, and Graystripe is right next to Firepaw because they're friends in the book. They're best friends. And then Ravenpaw is the only one with a side view because he's in a unique position in the book. That's what I'll say. And since Ravenpaw's name is Ravenpaw, I decided to give him a little flick in his tail to kind of look like a feather. For this step, I actually did the line art and then set it on low opacity so I could begin coloring. Coloring is usually what takes me the longest nowadays. I did Tiger Claw first because I knew exactly what I wanted him to look like, and also, his colors, or rather his line art, were touching all of the three other cats, so I wanted to make sure I got his right so that we wouldn't have trouble with the colors clipping and all of that. I decided to do each of the character's colors on a different layer, just for sanity's sake. All things considered, I made Tiger Claw's design very basic. In Warrior Cats, at most, you get eye color and a pelt color, maybe with their fur shape, but that's about it. They're very vague in their descriptions of the actual characters, unless they're a main one. So you can really go ham with the designs, which is one of the fun things about this fandom. Then I did Firepaw because his line art and colors also overlap with Ravenpaw and Graypaw. I sort of gave him some anime fur at the top of his head because he is the main character. And I give him those emerald green eyes he's always described as having. I made Firepaw's ears look vaguely like flame shapes, for obvious reasons. 
And something funny that I find is that Firepaw often ends up looking more like a tiger than Tiger Claw actually does. Though I suppose Tiger Claw is more about his personality than his appearance. Which is fair. Then Firepaw has this angry expression because fire implies that he's very feisty, which he is. And also, like I said earlier, Tiger Claw is the big bad, and since Firepaw is the main character, that means they don't like each other. I knew Ravenpaw would be easier to color than Graypaw, so I did him first. I gave Ravenpaw this horrified expression because, honestly, this poor cat. This poor cat. I'm not gonna- I'm not gonna say any more than that, but he's- he's- poor boy. I love him so much. He really is the MVP, and I feel like they kind of did him dirty in these earlier books. I completely forgot to screenshot Graypaw's colors before I did the background, so here's the finished drawing. There isn't much to say about Graypaw because he's already done, but I did try to make him look somewhat like my own pet tabby. Also, a nice detail that I just now noticed is that I gave Tigerclaw and Firepaw both pink noses and pink ears, and then for Graypaw and Ravenpaw, they're both matching. So, it's just a little nice thing that makes my brain happy. And I did go pretty literal with the fire and ice theme, just like the newer book cover, so I got to make this pretty nice gradient. I made snow at the bottom because I felt like the cool colors would contrast nicely with the bright orange of Firepaw. And then, fire suits Tigerclaw anyway because he is the big bad. And at the top, there are little ember flickers, whatever they're called, little things. And then at the bottom, they turn white, which makes them snow. Snow being on the bottom also matches well with Graypaw and Ravenpaw's eyes. Not as much with Firepaw, but it still looks good overall. I have to say that I'm very happy with this. It took me so many hours to make it. And for the logo, of course, I did just go with basic black and white because I couldn't find any other colors that worked. I did go pretty simple with this book cover. I didn't hide any hidden lore bits or nothing, unlike all anime openings. I did just kind of remake the first book cover, but with more cats just standing there. But I feel like it's forgivable since the facial expressions are pretty nice. So, <laughs> I hope you guys liked my book cover. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a good morning, day, night, whatever time it is when you're watching this, and just have a good time. Let me know what you think of it, and I'll see you guys later.